Hello, doctor. I'm very congested. Pressures. <laughs> My nose is running. Uh -huh. When it's bad enough to call the doctor, it's bad enough for Tavis D. Only now you can get full-strength Tavis D without a prescription. Tavis D. One tablet, 12 hours, no prescription. Chicken Tonight Simmer sauces from Ragu are so delicious, everyone's saying... I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. Try country French chicken, julienne vegetables, and a sauce with sweet cream and wine. Mmm. Chicken tonight. You're watching KGW-TV, Portland, the Northwest News Leader, serving the Willamette Valley, the Oregon Coast, Eastern Oregon, and Southwest Washington. This is News 8 at 11. And uh, just keep believing in me, and I'm going to go there, and I'm going to win. Figure skater Tanya Harding makes a final plea for hometown support as she leaves to compete in the Olympics. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tracy Berry. And I'm Larry Shoup. Tanya Harding's en route to Norway tonight, where she'll compete in the Lillehammer Games. Harding waited through a throng of reporters, fans, and passengers at the Portland airport today. She offered a brief statement before getting on board the commuter plane bound for Seattle. I'm really excited that I'm able to be able to fulfill my dream and being able to compete in the Olympics. And I hope that my performance will be as well as Tommy Moe's performance in the downhill ski. I was really excited when I heard about it. And I just want to thank everyone for their support. And I'm really excited. Harding smiled and chatted with reporters on the plane while waiting to leave Portland. She'll arrive in Lillehammer tomorrow. As Harding arrives there, she's facing the prospect of practicing at the same time as rival Nancy Kerrigan. An appeal by the U.S. Olympic Committee to split practice times for Kerrigan and Harding was turned down today for the third time. The action ensures that the two skaters will be in the same practice group. Harding's expected to begin practicing with Kerrigan in Lillehammer on Thursday. Now, Tanya Harding does have a small group of supporters who will be cheering her on in Lillehammer. But will it be enough to overcome the stress and the pressure that's expected when she takes to the ice? Steve Pickett explores that question. Are you clear, Tanya? While members of the media have pressured Tanya Harding for answers, the real pressure will come when she takes the ice in Lillehammer. As she spins and turns, the weight of suspicion and allegations are firmly attached to her performance. Can she handle it? My gut feeling is that she is tough as heck. And His that, name uh, is Alberto Salazar, a world uh, record holder in the marathon, a former Olympian, and someone who knows well about the pressure of athletic performance. And he also knows about Harding's tenacity. He says for her, pressure may be a good thing. She's going to know that more so than ever before, the whole world is going to be watching her. This is it for her. and. Uh, I just don't see her choking. I mean, I think she's going to fight to the end. That same view comes from this man. John Geevy is an athletic performance consultant, helping athletes work on their mental preparation. And he, too, sees Tanya Harding doing just fine. Concentration is the key, I, I think, in this process. And um, Tanya, I, I believe that that is is in the right place at the right time. And, and if she's able to disregard the um, uh, incident that has, has occurred, she will be successful. Givi says Harding certainly has distractions, but her outlet is doing what she does best. And if she can stay focused, the distractions of pressure and stress will not overwhelm what she does best. In Portland, Steve Pickett, News 8. A videotape with revealing pictures of Tanya Harding was blacked out earlier this evening by KGW Television. The tape was intended to air on A Current Affair at 7 o'clock, but KGW's management found that two segments were inappropriate for young viewers. The station's management decided it is more appropriate to air those two blacked out segments at this late hour. Here they are in their entirety, edited back to back. Yet as you watch this home video, a very unexpected and unknown Tanya Harding starts to emerge. A quieter, softer Tanya. She is very soft. She is tough because of the public. She has to put on that coat of armor. But yeah, she's, she's a huggable person. Here, Jeff and Tanya are pictured in happier times, reminiscent of their wedding day. It's a friend's Halloween party. After some wine, the world-class skater shares a seductive moment 
with her then beloved husband Jeff. <laughs> People only see her at the rink or what she does publicly. They don't see what she does behind closed doors. She's a sweetie. Now, the New York Post reports that Harding's ex-husband, Jeff Galuli, supplied the tape for an undisclosed amount of money. A spokesman for Current Affair refused to say who provided the tape and denies that anyone was paid for it. Tanya Harding's mother is in stable condition tonight after collapsing on the set of the Montel Williams talk show. 54-year-old Lavonna Faygolden was taken to New York St. Clair's Hospital after she suddenly collapsed to the floor. Associates rushed to her side and quickly escorted her out of the studio covered by a friend's coat. During the show's taping, Golden broke down in tears as she talked about her relationship with her daughter. Oh, I'd have given anything if she'd have given up. Long time ago, it, I found out it was a sport that no middle class.